chat going on. Nice. And we should be coming in live. Awesome, awesome. There we are. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today, today is July 25th, 2021. I'm Chicho. And we're doing a opening up a care package. And I believe it's a comic book. And if it is a comic book, we're going to do a reading. Okay, we'll see what it is. Hopefully it's uh, acceptable to read <laughs> during a live stream. If not, if not, if it's mature, not mature adult oriented. If not, I got a bunch of comic books here. What I've started doing is I've been reading a lot of comic books. What I've started doing is reading comic books and highlighting just certain pages, pages or panels that I think are interesting or they have something to say um more philosophical uh and stuff maybe politics maybe economics maybe whatever it is okay so if that's more adult oriented uh x-rated then we'll do some highlight readings but we will do some highlight readings in the future laugh out loud box how are you doing i saw you on discord you're like what is the start what is the start <laughs> Doing the time conversion is funny, eh? Uh, so I've I've messed it up myself a few times, a few times. Uh, but welcome to another live stream. This is just a set of two that we set up. We'll probably end up doing another uh, two later on this week because um, I'm getting caught up with the previous live streams and trying to load up certain segments uh to censor tube and um, to the other video sharing platforms but shoot rumble and odyssey just some important stuff i might uh uh i might just start loading things up complete without taking segments out which means there's going to be less stuff being loaded onto censor tube laugh out loud box yeah i live in scandinavia you're ten, nine hours ahead ten hours ahead so right now it should be uh seven so you either eight or eight or nine o'clock yeah are you like 8 p.m right now if you're 8 p.m you're nine hours ahead right tristan how are you doing hope you're doing well welcome welcome to another live stream fun nice chill sunday uh la Falot box yeah so 8 p.m 8 p.m won't type much but i'm watching okay awesome enjoy the watch should be fun uh i'm curious to see what we ended up getting this is the package by the way this is it it's nicely packaged okay and uh i believe it's supposed to be golden agc uh, we'll see if the person that sent it uh max thank you very much for the care package uh so we'll see if uh, they show up crack afternoon everyone let's see some comics i picked up a few great books yesterday myself including daredevil 111 nice the last one i need for my run of nine to three hundred serious very cool very cool nine to three hundred you have it uh, that's good wanted to see the last stream but that was so early here when did we do it oh yeah that was like we did it at 8 p.m so it would have been 4 a.m 5 a.m your time <laughs> a little too early even though i do wake up at that time uh I, i'm usually up by 5 5 30 a.m but i sort of do my thing you know check my emails check out my news and put on the tea put away the dishes it's sort of a little meditative routine in the mornings right uh, watch it live stream open discussion on current events would be a little bit even though i do uh check out the news in the mornings as well which is fantastic really nice starting the day off that way actually i love it and by the way gang i'm gonna do my little intro while we wait for people to roll in um if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho uh elder god how you doing i went to bed at 9 a.m this morning after the last stream it was a heavy lot of a uh, lot of discussion a lot of things going on a lot of things going on i saw the stream replay though oh you watched it okay cool 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 i hope you enjoyed cyanide for dinner how are you doing what's up chicho my movie's homework is going good I'm going to watch akira tonight dude so good akira you've never seen have you ever seen it 
I don't know how many times I've watched Akira multiple times a fantastic movie fantastic movie Jingle bells. Hello, hello. What's up, Chicho? Great to catch you live while we all continue enjoying the ride. Indeed, indeed. All over the place. If you're in an amusement park, don't stick to one ride. Just go around, enjoy all the rides, right? We jump from current events from 12 hours ago to 11 hours ago, no, oh, 13 hours ago to care package and comic books and if you want to follow this work patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative Commons. share and share like and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and care packages and the support we're getting on all these platforms i've only watched akira once and it was in 1988 seriously wow I watch it every few years again I must have watched Akira like I don't know six seven seven times eight times uh, and I'm plan on watching it again homework is good nope I've never seen a dude Sinai for dinner after you watch anybody that's never seen Akira after and if you've seen Akira the movie is fantastic it, it was it set a new standard to a certain degree for anime right when you watch the movie if you love the movie read the manga the full story the movie is only an hour and a half it cannot cover everything in the manga okay and there is so much in the manga there is like a three second five second scene in the movie that takes multiple chapters uh, occurs over multiple chapters in the manga it is fantastic fantastic i still remember the gut grabbing scene though oh, is that the that's that's all <laughs> oh crack such a good movie i have a limited edition a steel box type of release the bonus features are fantastic the books are absolutely essential absolutely essential i actually had a friend i read a friend had a collection of akira the graphic novels and uh, i borrowed it from him to read and i returned it to him and he was like okay chicho we're moving they were leaving country so this is a gift to you and i refused to accept that gift right he, he was like oh okay at the, you know we gotta move a lot we gotta i go look man i can't take this from you okay uh, i appreciate the gift but this is essential to have in your library <laughs> even though i don't have it i need to get it i said uh, thank you for the offer but i can't take akira off off you it's not it's not gonna happen jingle bells i hope to catch the next movie club i have to nominate shallow soccer what a great movie jingle bells i've seen it shallow soccer is one of the funniest movies you'll see and it's a soccer football lovers movie shallow soccer is amazing so funny so funny cyanide for there have you guys already seen castaway to the moon i haven't seen it yet I haven't seen it yet and gang if you want to know what we're live streaming on we're live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e and gang thank you very much for the support on this platform and mods for taking care of business elder god elder god and thank you for the follows and the subs emo there emo the rapper emo the rapper i was into too much darker manga back in the day akira could be dark it has its dark moments but it's it's beautiful sci-fi we do announce anuj how are you doing we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds vk gap parlor and bitcloud and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social or even exclamation mark discord and the discord link will pop up in the bottom here so you're definitely welcome to join us on discord and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about sign up for dinner my love is for movie movie kung fu hustle i've seen it too which i'll try to nominate kung fu fuzz a long time ago i watched kung fu kung fu hustle that's from is it 
is it 80s or 90s i can't remember now i can't remember and for last streams where we don't have any visuals see that how are you doing um the audio will be uploaded to soundcloud.com uh chicho forward slash chicho as a podcast uh and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes i watched invincible recently on amazon it's based on comics yeah invincible is really good super good and we will be uploading this live stream onto youtube bitchoot rumble and odyssey i can't see us doing anything that the sensors on sensor 2 will not want you to hear how did you like you like it Anuj? invincible invincible i'm assuming Anuj loved it and gang i want to take these guys down should we do the comic book haul or the care package haul let's do the care package haul it's awesome crack and said gang we got a little care package that came okay <laughs> right and um max again thank you for sending this okay uh we got a little love coming from uh cali and from what he mentioned this is supposed to be uh, golden age ec comic i believe dr p how are you doing what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box let's crack it open let's crack it open again uh, i'm not sure if the person that sent this to us will be able to make it on the stream but uh, i'm sure they will most likely at least watch the reading of it see what it is let's see what it is oh you can just pop it out okay let me crack this open let's make sure we're not gonna do oh what the f oh <laughs> oh my god no way man you sent me this that's crazy talk that's crazy talk that's crazy talk what what you want us to know what we got as a care package golden age you see very nice very nice we're gonna read this right now okay <laughs> the bad ones are coming Marshall but as long as I hold you I am not afraid for I know you are not afraid too funny too funny gang check this out oh it's graded and very good mad magazine or mad comics Tales calculated to drive you mad. Number nine. What the F? We got mad number nine. Crazy. Awesome. 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 There's a girl. That's what I was laughing at. The bad ones are coming and the sheriff's like scooted on out. We're going to do a reading of this right now, gang. We're going to do a reading of this right now phenomenal max brother thank you i don't have this i do not have this wow kurtz look at this let me tell you who's on here i opened up uh, um who the artists are that's an amazing care that's an amazing care package that's an amazing care package hold on let me type this in Mad number nine. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Come on, come on, find it for me. So check this out. Wow, this is an amazing care package, man. Uh, contents, contents. What do we got? We got Harvey Kurtzman did the covers for this, right? Uh, the pencils and the inks. Uh, da, da, da. There's Jack Davis. Uh, one page uh, fan 
uh, edit clip promo ad, so not a page promo ad. We got, uh, oh, Wally Wood is in this. So the first story is uh, script is Harvey Kurtzman and pencils and inks by Wally Wood. Oh my God. Uh, the second story is script and Edgar Allan Poe. What the F? Edgar Allan Poe is in this? Edgar Allan Poe wrote the second story. It's called, oh, the Ravens in this. Oh my God. The first story is called Little Orphan Malvin. The second story is The Raven. This is one of uh, Edgar Allan Poe's most famous poems, man. Um, the, even The Simpsons has, has done an uh, episode on The Raven. Um, pencils by Bill Elder and inks by Bill Elder. Colors by Mary Severn. Um, ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. And then there is uh, Jack Davis again with a one-page ad. The second story, uh, the third story, Bob jokes. Uh, Harvey Kurtzman and John Severn pencils and inks. Harvey Kurtzman's story. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, look at this. Look at this. The fourth story is Ha Noon. Uh, Harvey Kurtzman uh, script and Jack Davis pencils and inks. Okay. And then we got photo ads. Photo. Wow. 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 Very very cool man very cool very cool seriously holy camoles Edgar Allan Poe story Wally Wood did Wally Wood did the, uh, did the Edgar Allan Poe Wally Wood did the Edgar Allan Poe I believe yeah oh no uh, Wally Wood is the first story a uh, little orphan Melvin and Bill Elder did uh, the Raven with Aaron, uh, uh, Edgar Allan Poe is uh, the writer for it. Super, super cool, man. Super, super cool. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. You want to have further information on that see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube gang are we ready should we do a reading i'm gonna change the angle on this should we do a reading look at this sacramento look at that what a care package what a care package Brother, respect, respect. Wow. Should we do this? It's graded at very good or very good plus. So we'll take a look. We'll decide. Okay. Aside from that game, I'm going to turn off notifications. Dum -ba -da -dum -bum -bum -bum. Notifications turned off chat is turned off i don't have the little angle here but we're going to turn off the screen we're going to go straight to the screen okay chicho the unexpected reading <laughs> what a reading what a reading what a reading uh, starting the day off with mad from golden age of comics and it came out uh, this thing came out in 1950 what's the date on this t -t 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 this 1954 1954 okay fan fantastic fantastic gang i'll turn on this angle after the reading okay we're going to read the first two stories and we'll flip through the rest okay so let me turn off this camera angle let me have a sip of tea <coughs> This is going to be our second mat that we're reading, right? Awesome, awesome. I'll see you guys in this camera after the reading game. Let's have a look at this. And I'm going to give my little hi and just on this angle say what this is about. But hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another comic book reading and what we're doing today we're doing a reading 
um, Mad from 1954, Mad number nine from EC Comics, graded at very good. And this sticker, it says graded very good, and it's got a $20 price tag on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it goes for a lot more than this right now in very good condition. Okay. We got Wally Wood in this. We got Harvey Kurtzman in this. We got Bill Elder in this. We got Jack David in this. And the second story is The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. And this comic book is a care package. Um, I'm assuming the person is okay if I just say their first name. But Max ended up sending this to us um, because he mentioned that he loved... Uh, the work that we're doing here uh so huge respect i was not expecting this on this level to be on this what the so max brother thank you very much for the love uh thank you for sending this to us and i'm sure everybody's gonna love this reading okay now let's crack it out of the bag take a look at the cover and we're gonna go straight into the readings um, of this there's four stories i believe and we're gonna read the first two uh at least okay now the cover of this and we're doing a live stream of this and there's a little intro to this in the first uh 20 minutes i'm not sure if i'm going to load this up the full live stream i'm pretty sure i'm going to load up the full live stream and just put a timestamp in this thing so you're probably hearing this twice but let's take a look at this thing let's take a look at the cover first this cracked me up look at this look at this cover the bad ones are coming marshall but as long as i hold you i am not afraid for i know you are not afraid <laughs> here's the bad ones coming <laughs> they look like pretty bad guys man they're like nasty look at that they they got death in their eyes right the two of them that you can see right and here's a little lady <laughs> here's the sheriff <laughs> jumping out of his suit <laughs> and he's out of there <laughs> he's gone he left his boots behind too look at that too funny and his harvey kurtzman cover again Harvey Kurtzman. He's got a little cowboy dude uh, sketch on there. Super fun. Man, working for Mad Magazine would have been what an amazing period, eh? The golden age of comics for Mad. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right? As far as the grade for this goes, uh, there's a huge split on the spine. Check that out. Right? So I wouldn't grade this as very good. Okay. This the spine split would definitely kick it down to maybe good very good okay there's no chunks missing or i wouldn't grade it very good plus that's for sure it's a huge spine split but we don't care we've the mad comics or the com some of the golden age comics we've read have been in pretty rough shape <laughs> But no, no, it's a pretty, very good grade. Very good grade. Like, super cool. Super cool. Harvey Kurtzman, Harvey Kurtzman. The spot is in really good shape, right? Like, there's no chunks missing, nothing, right? Oh, we got our kitty cats rolling around now. That's Sal. He wants a little food, I think. He's got to stick with the dry food. He's got to stick with the dry food. Check this out. Let's check out the back cover. What does this say? The new way to enjoy sports, movies, plays, television. What is this? Save $8. Now get close-up views all day without fatigue. Oh, what? We never seen this thing. Now, one ninety. What? FTI. What does FTI stands for? Now get close-up views all day without fatigue. 
here for the first time Germany's famous spectroscopes a revolutionary concept in binoculars wear them like ordinary eyeglasses uh, hour after hour without fatigue feather weight only one ounce you'll hardly feel them yet here here is a new truly powerful optical design that gives you greater range than any than many expensive opera or field glasses and a far greater field of view uh, than some selling for many times more has individual eye focusing for clear sharp viewing whether you're looking at a play in the first row oh i guess uh, for plays and stuff concerts you could do this first row or a seash uh, seashore scene miles away skeptoloscopes are ideal for indoors outdoors or distant scenes or close by viewing special low price dollar 98 a saving of eight dollars or more wow germany so this is 1954 right available uh exchange rate makes this value possible try what does this say try at your own risk no obligation enjoy at our risk for five days you must be delighted otherwise your 198 will be refunded with no questions asked limited supply focuses us to place a limit of two per customer wow 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 cool imported from germany cool let's take a look at this thing gang What are the words in the things say? What does that say? Sad. Last chance. Oh, last chance. Hard saloon. Hard luck saloon. Last chance. Something Imperium. Free pretzels. Haha. <laughs> I <laughs> can't. We've got a bunch of people popping into chat right now. Let's take a look. The staple is intact, by the way, gang. Take a look. The staple is intact, but the spine split is there, right? Take a look. So we're going to try to be careful with this, giving this a read. And again, Max, dude, whoa. This is, um, oh wow, look at this hanging cover. We're hanging at. Look at the artwork for this. Wally Wood. Phenomenal. Let's take a look at this thing. What does this say? Look at that hanging. Gadzooks. My joy knows no bounds. I have just received my. EC Fan Attic Club membership kit, which includes a four a full color seven and a half by ten and a half illuminated certificate, a sturdy wallet identification card, an attractive embroidered dirt shoulder patch, and a stunning antique bronze finish uh, bass relief pin. So what? Look at this guy. He's reaching in. Oh, he must be the torturer here. Right? There's Frankenstein looking in. Jack Davis artwork. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> look at the mailbox ah the mailbox is a coffin with a shovel that's uh, that sticks out they usually back in the day they i don't know if they still do not they probably still do they lift up the shovel or lift this up uh, when it's down there's no mail when the mailman puts something in they pull this up 
so you can look from your window from your house to know if there is mail or not right mushrooms on the ground tentacles coming out here very cool so what so you too can join the club ec fan club attic addict F fan attic club for an individual membership fill out the coupon and send it in together with 25 cents or five uh 25 cents if five or more of you wish to join as an authorized chapter enclose each membership name and address along with 25 cents for each name and indicate the name of the elected chapter president we will notify each president of this chapter number every member chapter or individual will receive this kit directly by return mail very cool it'd be a shame to cut this out and no photocopiers back then right let's read the fine print gang let's read the fine print mad february march 1954 volume one number nine published by monthly by educational uh, educational comics incorporated at 225 lafayette street new york uh, 12 new york william m gaines managing editor harvey kurtzman editor entered as second class matter at the post office at new york new york subscriptions eight issues for one dollar in the u.s elsewhere dollar 25 entire entire contents copyrighted 1953 by educational comics incorporated on, that's a kidding guy unsolicited manuscripts will not be returned what does this say unless accompanied by stamp return envelope no similarity between any of the characters names or persons appearing in this magazine with any of those living or dead is intended and any such similarity is purely coincidental printed in the usa oh the cover staple just came undone oopsie it is what it is this is the sacrifice we make okay it just popped it did a little click and it just popped out right so that kicks the grade down by the way again but it is what it is right we got to do the reading we got to do the reading wally wood signed wally wood signed right curb you dog curb you dog ours wally would add so much detail in his work like look at this look in the background look at that lady throwing out the dirty dishwater into the alley or into the gutter from the top right which is something that happened back in the day clothes hanging right? people looking out the window people pointing little orphan melvin look at the person in the garbage can look at that guy a kid ah the comic smells like the golden age of comics hotel ritz look at this guy's outfit hotel ritz doorman Oh, smoking a big fat stogie by lighting a dollar. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh, look at that. The doorman's got guns too. Sword, grenade. Loaded, loaded, loaded. What does this say? She walks in beauty like the night of cloud, cloudless uh, clips climbs and starry skies climbs cloudless climbs and starry skies and all that's bad beat beat all that's beat 
all that's best of dark and bright meets in her in her aspect and her eyes byron i don't meets meets in her bright meets in her aspects and her eyes like in a lollipop little orphan malvin that's how i read through this girl and dog type story department take a homeless lonely orphan girl a orphan child girl and a faithful lovable highly intelligent mud dog and you have a comic strip that'll tug at your heartstrings and loosen your purse strings and so we present a girl named Melvin and a dog named Gravel in Little Orphan Melvin. Here she is again. And there is the doggy. What's the doggy's name again? The doggy's name is Gravel. There's Gravel. Looks like a happy dog. Melvin. What does she have in her hair? Fork? Rake? Ah, oh, it's a rake. Little mini rake. What do these guys say? The doorman. Hark. Shahib. Daddy Peace Bucks. It is little orphan Melvin. Observe the little princess talking to herself as usual speaking profound philosophical thoughts the doorman says poor little tyke looking for a grub steak no doubt but we cannot help her pun joke pun joke we have important things to do places to go there's a new hair tonic i must track down haha <laughs> he's bald funny let's check it out let's see what Melvin says yes gravel looks to us simple folk like the world's in a powerful mess to quote a simple philosophical idea a stitch in times saves nine a stitch in time saves nine not that that has much to do with the story but that's downright good philosophy. Arf, the doggy says. A st stitch in time saves nine. What does that mean? Malvin continues. Of course, us simple folk don't know much about philosophy. But as Plinty the Younger once said, Impersa Monumenti Supervac sia s memorial memoria nos trata durabet si vita mervimos what that's latin it's gotta be latin i have no idea what that says arf gravel says of course simple folk like us don't know much about politics either but pairs to me appears to me that if the currency values in the world monetary fund were deflated to meet spiraling revenues economic collapse would be averted for the four uh, slugner fiscal year arf and arf the doggy agrees uh, she's got a little duck and an egg in her hair already singing she's full of philosophy let's check it out humph here comes that malvin child again the old lady's grump like that the old lady's got a lot to say 
talking to her dog again as usual rocks in the head if you ask me a crazy mix of emotional kid if you ask me the old lady's grumbling Oh, look at this one. Mad, mad, mad. Huh. Ought to be run out of town talking to a dog like that. Ought to, ought to be hung, I say. Ought to be hung, I say. The old lady's jumping up and down. Ought to be hung. What a violent little, little bitter old lady. Hark, Gravel, the town gossips are talking about me again. Talking about how I talk to a dog. What's wrong with me talking to a dog, she asks. And further, more gossip, the old ladies continue. And dogs reply, yeah, yeah. You think having a harmless conversation with a little old dog is a crime or something? What's the matter? I got fleas or something? Come to think about it. I have. Ha <laughs> ha. Gravel replies. There's a little bunny poking out of uh, Melvin's hair. What's going on? The bunny is thinking. Oh, what does she get? Look at these gangsters. Of course. The ways folks is living now, the, the way folks is living now, they need their gossip, their fancy clothes, and their automobiles. Folks has lost sight of the important things in life. The one thing dearer than anything else. Money, she says. <laughs> Look at her. Ah, there's a pool in the background. Someone's swimming. good house breakings look at these guys who are these gangsters hark fellow crooks look look there one of them sharpening his teeth or taking something out of his teeth with a knife isn't that little orphan Melvin and gravel boy wouldn't it burn daddy peace bucks up if we kidnap them wow that kid Melvin can put up a good fight so we'll split up uh, to capture little orphan Melvin and gravel you take little orphan Melvin we take gravel <laughs> they're splitting it up all these guys going after gravel Axel spoke that's Axel Max L Maxel. What does the size say in the background? Wanted greasy Axel. Haha. -ha. So he's on the wanted poster. Post no bills. Look at these guys. Wallywood. We are evil, and Daddy Peace Bucks is good so we hate him and despise him and detest him in fact him we don't like so naturally we are going to blast you also oh, they caught her yes put her in a can and all oh, the dogs there too weeping wizards the dog says you crooks will never blast me because my daddy peace bucks will save me at the last minute as usual Shut up or I'll paint or I'll paint bot dots on your eyeballs. Oh that's nasty. Oh yeah, she doesn't have any eyeballs. No dots in there. Oh they blasted her. But doom Stick me in the cannon. My daddy peace bucks will come at the last minute <laughs> she blasted her last minute put in the fuse my daddy peace box will come at the last minute 
put your finger in the trigger my daddy peace bucks will come at the last minute well maybe a second after the last minute everybody's watching Ha ha, her daddy peace box sure didn't show up at the last minute. Is this daddy peace box? What is this guy? He's got a cigar in his mouth. The crooks are laughing. Wait, wait, it's not being shot out of the cannon 15,000 feet into the air. That a hurt little orphan Malvin. It's not falling 15,000 15, feet down through the sky. That a hurt little orphan Malvin. He repeats, what's going on? It's at the point where her head shall contact the ground. That a hurt little orphan Malvin. They're just laughing right. That makes sense. Shunoff. Hey, he's clearing all the rubble from the ground. Yep. Oof. Little orphan Malvin hit the ground. Look, the stranger with the bushy uh, toes, toes lead head of hair that stranger who is fixing the ground where little orphan Malvin is about to fall. Do you know? Do you know what about that stranger? No, what about that stranger? He better use wild root cream oil, Charlie. What is this? Singing it. Poor little orphan Melvin. Daddy Peace Bucks. Daddy Peace Bucks. I knew you would come at the very last minute. I had to come back. I had to come. I was worried sick. I just had to come back and see how you were. I will never leave you again, Gravel. Oh, I came for the dunk. It's Daddy Peace Bucks. Quick. While he is still blinded by the tears in his eyes his empty white eyeballs get him so they put on a wig look at him they got bayonets out they're coming charging towards them why did i hate the guy so much stand back stand back with with stand back you fur shillin jinner quirks stand back else i open this box and you'll never guess what's in this box kleenex no uh locomotive no cigars no blintzes blintzes no do not open till christmas there's no one in the box top secret What's in the box? Oh, look at this. You, your seven minutes, seven minutes to guess, are up. I have in this box my special assistant, formerly of Murder Inc. The Grass. Go get him, Grasp. Sick him, Graspy. Kill. He says. Oh, the bad guys, the crooks. Yay. Yay! They're scared. This little cigar dude is the dude in the front. It's this guy. Daddy Peace Bucks. Right? This guy. Daddy Peace Bucks. Oh, 
Oh my god, the guy brought out a bazooka. <laughs> oh, what? Look at this mayhem. What's going on? Kill. Yay. <laughs> Blows up one of them. Machine gun. Look at that. Kill. Yay. Cuts him down. Kill. He's got an axe. Yay. Okay. Gas. <laughs> He's pulling him back. Daddy Peace Bug saying enough. Kill. Yay. What is that? Oh, it's a crowd. Little, uh, what do you call it? Okay, okay, gasp, stop. He's trying to stop a boink. Crossbow? Not crossbow. Oh, no, he's going after little Orphan Malvin. Oh, he's got a little air thing, Majigi. Blow, blow gun. Yay! Okay, gasp, stop, gasp. Whoa, enough, down. Boy, down. Ratatat. He's killing little orphan Malvin and the doggy shot the doggy in the head. Look at that. Look at all the bodies in the back. Oh, what about kill? Shooting through the coffin. Ah, gasp. On that gasp, gasp. Wants that gas, gasp. Kills, gasp, and gasp, sees his victims, gasp, gasp, out there, last gasp, 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 can't stop killing, gasp, gasp, can't gasp, knives, arrows, grenades, bricks, dynamite, dart, all of it flying out, oh no, little Melvin Hark, Little gravel bark. Lie down, arf, dead dog. Little orphan Malvin, the gas didn't mean to shoot, shoot you. He's a good employee of mine, you know, likes his work and all that. But it'll take care of. I'll take. It'll take care of you. I'll uh, get you the best medical aid possible. I'll spare no expense. Nothing is too good for you. He says. So here's a band-aid. See? The plastic kind, colored like skin. This is best kind band-aid possible. But Daddy Peace Box. What is so important that you have to leave us like this? And now I must be off. I should read that first. And now I must be off. Important things to do, places to go. And little Malvin says, but Daddy Peace Box, what is so important that you have to leave us like this? Sit up, the dog says. Arf. Come on, boy, sit up. Why? A few plastic new hair oil why a fantastic new hair oil i heard of that i must track down hop 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 off he goes i guess he wants his hair back this is chaos melvin of course daddy peace box has got lots of things on his mind and can't play all his pay all his attention to a simple folk he got many things on his mind mainly on his mind he got his scalp ha get it gravel scalp on his mind haha -ha, joke melvin do you really need me uh, hanging around what does that say pants press dot your eyes haha -ha. Hark, fellow crooks, there she is again. Axel Marksel's Pool Emporium. Carl Marksel, freelance spy and crook. 
That's the guy right there. Look at these guys. It's little orphan Melvin again, boy. Wouldn't it burn Daddy Peace Bugs if after spending so much time, effort, and money in beating us up, we blasted that orphan Melvin anyhow? Wait a second. That kid Melvin can put up a good... <laughs> this is like repeat. <laughs> that kid Melvin can put up a good fight. So we'll split up to capture little orphan Malvin and Gravel. We hold your coat and you take orphan Malvin and Gravel. Look at this, they're all beat up. They don't want to get involved in this no more. I wonder if this guy had the uh, tooth lost in the first part. Do we see? Is it? No, it doesn't show. It's over here. Right? Now this gang is all beat up. Right? Check it out. Oh, they're tying her to the train tracks. Let's get this focused. We are so evil and Daddy Peace Bucks is so good. We like to shoot him full of holes. Bash his head in. Knock his teeth out. Cut him up in little uh, Fershelunger pieces. I don't know what that is. So naturally, we're going to let a train run over you. You dirty dogs, the dog says. You crooks will never let that train run over me because my daddy peace bucks will save me at the last minute as usual excuse me does anyone have the time oh that's he is that's him right there with cowboy hat on right, he's got the big stogie does someone have the time i want to know how close it is to the last minute I'm supposed to save little orphan Melvin. <laughs> Yay! It's Daddy Peace Box. Get him! The gangsters say, Daddy Peace Box! Melvin yells out, I knew you'd come at the last minute. Now, let me loose. Let me loose. The train's coming closer. Stand back, crooks, because here comes my second special assistant, Punjok, on his magic flying carpet. Let me loose, let me loose, she says. Punjok, yay! They know Punjok. Sleeping scissors. Punjok is the big gangster we saw at the beginning, right? The magic carpet, something's wrong. You're coming in too low, Punjok. Pull up, pull up. Let me loose, let me loose. She's yelling Melvin in the background. Punjok is coming in with his magic carpet. Maroon. The sound effects. Crunch. He crashes. Let me loose, let me loose. Melvin's yelling in the background. Let's see how bad this crash was. <laughs> magic carpet punjok punjok what do you mean by such reckless flying i'll have you flying i'll have your flying license revoked please shahab observe this is a uh, uh, hooked rug and somebody unhooked one of the hooks sabotage we'd better call a tow truck uh, to take this wreck in is that the magic carpet looks like it it's been unhooked oh there he is no wait punjok first use your strange in uh, inexplicable oriental power to get rid of these crooks 
Ah, oh, Shahab, you want me to send them away? It is well. I take my magic rug, I throw it over them, I say the magic words, for shlung jin er full shlung jinner is that how to pronounce that the word for shlung slug jinner full slug jinner turkish bath on his hat yay oh he's got them all in the bag going he's got a little yo-yo yay going Yay, gone, real gone. He made them all disappear. Zip. What's going on? By Jove, pun joke. How did you do it? Where did they go? Shahib. When one intends to sell a comic book, it's well all, it's well all swear words to expel however you impel this servant you to tell what land these crooks now dwell if tell i must i shall i sent them down to shahab little malvin's yelling in the background let me loose let me loose oop yay what's going on Careful, Shahab, you almost dropped into it yourself. The place I sent the crooks down, down into a well. Phew, you caught me just in time. Time, Junpo, what time is it? I've got to save little orphan Melvin at the last minute. Let me lose, let me lose, she says. Oh, he's falling into a well here. See that? And Punjo grabs him in the last second. What's going on here? Observe, Shahib. The smoke of the train is in the distance. Right. And I shall save little orphan Malvin at the last minute because the train is just coming. Wrong. You shall sell you shall not save little orphan Malvin at the last minute. Because the train is just going. Oh no. She's in little pieces. Little orphan Malvin and Gravel. Cut to pieces by the choo choo train. Here, I make the supreme sacrifice. My whole tin of band aids. Now, let me out of here. This is disgusting. But Shahib. Have you forgotten my strange, inexplicable oriental powers? Observe, I take my magic rug and throw it over the, this mess. Ha! For shlug jinner. Jinner. Full shrug jinner. Arf! Look at a little orphan mountain. What a weird tail here. Now I remove the rug and hark where once little orphan Melvin and gravel were cut up in little pieces the peeps the pieces are all together again so welcome oh no <laughs> the, heads, the dog heads on uh, Melvin's head look at that Panjo Panjo something's gone wrong little orphan Melvin somehow she's different she needs uh, a shave. Yep. Leaping gizzards, she says. Look, look, another hook unhooked from my hooked rug. No wonder it didn't work. Well, if you don't succeed, try, try it. Try again, I say. Daddy Peace Box, Daddy Peace Box. I'm afraid, Melvin says.
afraid afraid my child you should not be afraid you will play the violin again only thing to fear is fear itself and maybe sometimes danger look at me I fear nothing boy am I brave grr arf ha you worm found you at last <laughs> no he's like yay oh daddy peace box I love you so Malvin says from under the rug Oh, Daddy Peace Box, my show of affection em embarrasses you. You move away. What a modest Daddy Peace Box. Get your cotton picking hands off me, the old lady says. Kapoing, he's out of there. Come on, pun, pun joke. Let's go hunt for hair tonic. Come on, punch. Oh, come on, punch. Get this rug going. Bawa. Give it the old strange, inexplicable oriental powers. Bawa. Shout. I can't find the ignition key. <laughs> the lady's chasing her. They're sitting on the rug. YMCA on the hat now. Oh, here she comes. Come on, Punch. Contact, contact. Flaps down. Runway cleared for takeoff. Ba wow. Hark. There she goes. Get a little pull. Brom poke. Va va. Va da bum. Chuck. Come on, Punch. Oh, Punch took off. Let's get this bra braided rug into the air. Braided rug, Shahab. I have no braided rug. I have only hooked rugs. Ha <laughs> ha. He's out. Roosh. He's on the wrong rug. Now I've got you, you worm. Careful, I have a new hair tonic that I have managed to grow one hair was so careful oh he's pulling on his hair he's got one hair daddy peace box every time we find each other you go away is it is it because of a your business b the political situation c my bo malvin's asking creeping blizzards the dog says It is because of neither the old lady says the reason that daddy, daddy peace bucks always goes away is because d i am mommy peace bucks and this worm's been dodging me for years by the way i don't know you how come how come you call daddy peace bucks daddy she asks ah the dog's got his fighting stance on Daddy Peace Bucks smiling with a cigar. Oh, what's she doing? She's changing her clothes. Well, if you'll just give me a chance to tidy up, a, tidy up and change into something fresh, I'll tell you. You see, I've been around a long time and a girl doesn't get any younger, you know. But my public wants me as the child they always remember with those ridiculous cotton stockings that fantastic hairdo and my eyeballs turned up so it's only the white shows of course us simple folk like to change into our normal outfits after a day's work like this so she's changing up this is what she changes into so what's wrong with me calling him daddy peace bucks 
Yay, yay, yay! Look at that. What's the dog say? The end. And he's got a big smile on his face. Lady in red. Last little orphan, Malvin. Holding one of those cigarettes with the smoking thing on there. That was a weird story. So difficult to read. What the? Just randomness. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. Here's Edgar Allan Poe. The Raven. We gotta do this one justice. I'm bad at reading out Edgar Allan Poe out loud. I don't rhyme it well. Let's look at the artwork. Let's take a look at this. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Bill Finger is the artwork. And this is from Mad Comics number nine from 1954. Okay, this comic sent to us as a care package by Max. And Max, thank you very much for the love. I hope you're enjoying this reading. Okay, let's have a read through the second story of this comic. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Let's read the top. Classical type comics department. Once upon an evening, dreary, while we pondered weak and weary in the public library. On a comic story plot, while we nodded nearly nappy came an attendant a tappy on our head so gently rappy spoke that's all the time you've got oh were we mad we howled we raved and that's what the story is about The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Clunk, clunk, bash, bam. Little eye chart there. E R N L S M F T. Phony poo poo. Chocolate covered Jalavan. What is that? That Raven Maniac Elder. Let's read this. Once upon a midnight dreary, dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore while i nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door this some visitor i muttered tapping at my chamber door only this and nothing more Clunk, clunk, bash, bam. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December 
and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor eagerly i wished the morrow vainly i had sought to borrow For my books, sur surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken sad curtain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before so that now to still the beating of my heart i stood i stood repeating clunk 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 Tis some visitor entering, entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is it and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. That I scare was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there and nothing more. Click, squee. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering fearing doubting dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave me gave no token And the only word there spoken was but was the whispered word Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word Lenore. Merely this and nothing more.
back in the chamber turning all my soul within me burning soon again i heard a tapping somewhat louder than before surely said i surely that is something at my window lattice Let me see then what threats is, threats is, and this mystery explore. Let me let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. This the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in their step a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obedience made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he. Least obeisance made he but with mine of lord or lady perched above my chamber door perched upon the dust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird, beguilting my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern, decorum of the con continence in lore Though thy crest be shor shorn and shaven, though I said, art sure no raven, ghastly grin an ancient raven wandering from the nightly sh shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly, ungainly foul to hear discourse so plainly though its answer little meaning little relevancy bore for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being Ever yet was blessed 
was seeing bird above his chamber door bird at least the bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door with such name as nevermore But the raven sitting lonely on the placid dust spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour nothing further than he uttered not a feather then he fluttered Till I scarcely more than muttered other friends have flown before on the morrow he will never he will leave me as my hopes have flown before then the bird said never more Startled at the stillness, broken by reply, so aptly spoken, doubtless said I, what it, what it utters is its only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster. followed fast and followed faster till his song one burden bore till the dirgs of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never never more But the raven still be gilding my sad fancy into smiling. Straight I wheel the cushion seat in front of bird and bust and door. then upon the velvet uh, sinking i betook myself to linking fancy onto fancy thinking what this ominous bird of lore What this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of lore meant in cro croaking nevermore. this i sat engaged in guessing but no syllable expressing 
to the fowl whose fiery eye now burned into my bosom's lore this and more i sat divining with my head at ease reclining On the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight cloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press ah nevermore. then methought the air grew denser perfumed from an unseen censer swung by saffron saffron whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted tufted floor wretch i cried like god hath lent thee by these angels he hath sent thee Respite, respite, and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore. Quaff, o oh quaff, this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quaff the raven nevermore. Prophet, said I, think of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether temp tempter sent or tempest tossed, thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert I land enchanted. On this home by horror haunted tell me truly i implore is there is there balm in gilead tell me tell me i implore quoth the raven nevermore Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we doth adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp 
a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or friend, I shrieked on starting, starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no plank plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. leave my loneliness unbroken quit the bust above my door take the beak from out from out my heart and take thy form from off my door quoth the raven nevermore And the raven, never f flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of palace just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon, demons that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore Each one of these panels. Wow, wow, wow. This one with the bust, it, uh, yeah, this one. Check it out. Ah, and it breaks apart, turns into a skeleton. Crazy cool, crazy cool crazy cool the dog getting bigger <laughs> very cool very cool very cool Let's just uh, flip through the rest of the comic gang and see the pages. This is an advertisement. Hey, wasn't there supposed to be a big bowl of bowl game here? Bowl game here today, Melvin. So where's all the people? So. So haven't you heard, Irving? The first issue of EC, EC's new humor mag is out. The people are down at the newsstand buying Panic. Haha, <laughs> Panic. We read Panic number three, right? I think we read Panic number three. It was fantastic. Look at this. Bop jokes
Bop Dictionary. Check this out. Bop, Bop Dictionary. Crazy, odd, a mad reader is a crazy mix. Up kid. Cool, real nice, much like gone, gassed, and groovy. Q, a 3D square. Dig to be hip to understand what does Hollywood eyes means cute girls Hollywood eyes means cute girls hubcap a cat who thinks he's a big wheel haha <laughs> outest a way out the best Pin to look at, as in pin them crazy diapers. Stone, what a stone say! Joyous state of mind, crazy cool, flipping and kicks rolled into one. <laughs> Bob jokes. Wow, beautiful artwork. Look at that beautiful artwork, man, man. Will you pin them gone Hollywood eyes in the window? Model school. Oh yeah, they put books on their heads and walk straight. The girl in the green is not doing it right. very cool look at this look at this very cool very cool let's see if it'll focus ah oh, it doesn't want to focus check this hip guy out water water man water Man, I don't pin no water, but dig the crazy beach. Man, this is the end. Ha noon. Ha noon, high noon, so ha noon. Check this out. Ha noon. Ah, oh, this is a story of the, the cover. This is the cover story. The three bad guys. <laughs> ha noon. We'll have to read this one another day. Let's just look at the first paddle. Look at that. No, forsake me. Oh, ma, dolink. The guy's teeth is popping out. Yep. Oh man, the guy just shot himself in the head. There's a horse looking up from the roof. How mean do these three look? They look pretty mean. They look pretty mean. They look like Frankensteinish. Very cool. Play guitar. Get shop method home training. Cool, cool, cool. Max again, thank you very much for 
the care package. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to put it in a new bag. So I'm just going to leave it out. I have Golden Age bags that I'm going to bring out. I got Mylar, so I'm going to put it in Mylar Golden Age bag. Aside from that, gang, I'm going back to the live stream. Um, I sort of caught some of the chat going on, but uh, not much. Uh, so I'm going to turn my camera on. Super crazy cool. Edgar Allan Poe. There's the chat. Super cool. Super cool. Very cool. So what is the Raven? Some dark depression he has? Possibly his fears? Uh, Bitstorm? What is the Raven? What, did, what do you guys think the Raven is? Nevermore. Giant saw his dog food. <laughs> the dog kept on getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, Bitstorm. Love the way even the uh, similar panels, they swap things out and change wording. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was wearing a Christian Dior apron, eh? Cool. The giant cigarettes on the table in the last panel changed to a bong with a skunk in it. Oh, I saw the skunk. Yeah, yeah. It was like a... Was it a bong? I thought it was a perfume. I thought it was a perfume. Was it a perfume bottle? Or was it a bong? Yeah, I think it's a perfume bottle. I'll take a look. I'll show you. Watch. Take a look. It's like a, one of those old school perfume bottles. Right? The New God cigarettes. Actually, they got feet on them and stuff. I didn't even notice that. Right? Matches and New Gold cigarettes. Right? And then changed to a skunk perfume bottle maybe he's trying to say that smoking cigarettes is make you stinky like a skunk I don't know there's so much in this so much in this ah could be I thought it might be a reference to skunk weed haha <laughs> I don't know if at that, that time they they would have had the skunk weed but perfume makes sense too yeah skunk weed is uh, i know the name was uh has been around from the 80s anyway when i was around uh sort of learn the lingo lingo <laughs> fun that was a great reading uh thank you max again for sending this pr package uh fantastic for sure i'm going to snip out the edgar allen poe one and upload it individually and uh we'll upload the whole stream um for some reason but she was having a hiccup with the personal finance one <laughs> not uploading it is not processing it properly but we'll see what we can do uh, aside from that gang let's call the stream I'm gonna keep on uploading stuff uh, we're way behind on the platforms and um, you know I'll have these up probably in a week's time maybe earlier the comic book stuff this reading up earlier um, it doesn't require too much snipping just the snipping of uh, the uh, the Edgar Allan Poe one, I believe. Okay, and fantastic, man. Number nine from 1954. Awesome, 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 awesome. One day I'll have this full set. One day, one day we do. One day we do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sahib, Sahib. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here right what was his name it was sahib wasn't it peace bucks daddy peace bucks and grub steak sahib crazy wallywood art in the first story uh gang aside from that uh, just a quick outro i am on patreon if you want to follow this work you want to support this work for those of you that are supporting this work gang thank you very much for the support and the support we're getting like this amazing amazing we are live streaming on twitch and 
thank you for the support on Twitch gang mods elder god whatever mods that are here right now thank you for being here and taking care of business thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussions gang i do announce these live streams on mines vk gap parlor and bitcloud and we do have a discord page that you can join where there's a lot of people sharing a lot of discussion for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audios to soundcloud uh, dot com forward slash chicho chy chicho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will load this live stream up on all the platforms sensor tube bitchute rumble and odyssey and for sure we're going to pull out the edgar allen post story uh the second story and have that up uh it was very cool very cool the first story was just chaos it was just like what is going on it was a random um and maybe we'll pull that one out too wallywood 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 art right aside from that gang i hope you guys have a fantastic sunday we got our emotes up <laughs> we have a fantastic sunday cheers and truth always mr hezekiah just went to a chicago comic comics display at the museum of contemporary art in chicago very nice i'll post some pics in this oh awesome 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 did they have the original art and stuff or the comic books they would have had everything i'm assuming super cool yeah for sure i would love to see those pics aside from that gang i hope you guys have a fantastic original art and comics very nice i hope you guys have a fantastic sunday and uh, i'm just gonna expect a whole bunch of videos just keep on being uploaded on all the video sharing platforms all of them to bitch rumble and odyssey most to uh sensor two and i'll have these ones up yesterday's and today's up probably within the week uh hopefully fingers crossed bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic sunday